Elid Kipchoge is widely known as the fastest marathon runner on the planet, and he set the global record for the fastest marathon ever back in the 2018 Berlin Marathon. But now, even Elid's previous record might be broken, and the 38-year-old has left a much bigger gap this time around. Let's take a look at that and some other related news. First up, how did Elid Kipchoge beat his record? Elid Kipchoge recently appeared at the Berlin Marathon, one of the most famous marathon events in the world. There, the two-time Olympic gold medalist pretty much storm past all of his opponents and managed to complete the race within just 2 hours, 1 minute, and 9 seconds. His previous world record was just 30 seconds above that during the 2018 Berlin Marathon, where he finished in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds. It seems like Kipchoge is super comfortable in the Berlin environment, and this marks his fourth consecutive win in the city. Aside from holding the record for the fastest major marathon ever, Elite Kipchoge also recently won the 2020 Tokyo Olympics Marathon, where he also set the record for the largest margin of victory ever at over 80 seconds. His overall finishing time was 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 38 seconds. He also became only the third man to win back-to-back -back marathons at the Olympics. Coming up, Elid's helper narrates what happened in Berlin. It's important to note that Elid Kipchoge didn't make the brutal 24-kilometer journey in the Berlin Marathon all by himself. He had his own once randomly assigned helper alongside him, and this helper's job was to pass Elid at specific bottlenecks of the race and give the runner anything he would possibly need, including water bottles, bandages, or anything else. His name is Klaus Schulke, a Berlin local, and Elid claims that the man is integral to his victories in Berlin. After all, this means that Elid does not have to stop at a table to get a fresh drink. He can simply have Klaus paddle to him and give him anything he needs. Klaus recently revealed that he and the world record marathon runner are perfectly coordinated whenever they're in a race. Anytime Elid needs something, Klaus already knows, and when he needs to hand a bottle over to him, he does it in the most efficient manner possible. Elid isn't the first person to assign himself a helper in the Berlin Marathon, but Klaus might just be the best one yet. The helper also revealed a message that the runner had left him after his big win. In the letter, Elid Kipchoge wrote a little message thanking Klaus for all of his hard work, adding that the world record would not be possible without him. Up next, Elid says that Farah can come back stronger. Aside from Elid Kipchoge, one of the greatest marathon runners of all time is considered to be Britain's Mo Farah. However, for the past five years at least, Farah has not been a full-time runner, and his overall performance has definitely come down. He failed to qualify for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, and many people thought that this would be the end of his career. Even Farah himself hinted that if he can't keep up with the best in the world right now, he shouldn't be out there running marathons in the first place. The four-time Olympic gold medalist is clearly demoralized, and to make matters worse, he was recently forced to pull out of the London Marathon due to a hip injury. Even though many think that this is the end for the legend, Elid Kipchoge seems to think otherwise. He said that Mo Farah can still keep up with the best of them. He hoped that Farah would recover cover from his injuries soon so that he can come back to prove his critics wrong. The London Marathon was supposed to be Farah's big comeback, but unfortunately for him, things didn't work out as previously planned. Elid also brushed aside any claims that Farah, who's almost 40, might be too old to run a marathon. Kipchoge, who is 37 himself, said that age is just a number, and what really matters is how hard you train and work your mind. Coming up, Elid Kipchoge says that he's not the best runner of all time. Elid Kipchoge is known for being one of the most humble men in sports. He never tries to make any event about himself, and he's always ready to praise his helpers and opponents. One of the other favorites for the upcoming London Marathon right now is Ethiopia's Kenanesa Bekele, a three-time Olympic champion and multiple-time marathon champion. After watching Elite's performance at the 2022 Berlin Marathon, the Ethiopian star conceded by saying that Kenya's Elite Kipchoge should be titled the greatest of all time. However, the Kenyan star himself disagreed with this notion. He argued that no other than Bekele deserves the title of the greatest of all time since he has the most medals and victories in cross-country, track, Olympic games, and marathon runs around the world. Maybe Kipchoge is simply too humble to admit he's the best, or maybe he simply knows what he's talking about. We'll just have to wait until the 2022 London Marathon to see who really comes out on top. Up next, what's next for Elite Kipchoge? Even though we don't know if Kipchoge will be appearing in the 2022 London Marathon, he has achieved practically everything he could ever want in his career. It has now gotten to the point where people are wondering what's next for the 37-year-old champion. But despite his older age, by sporting standards at least, Kipchoge believes he still has a lot to prove. After knocking over 30 seconds off his previous record at Berlin, Kipchoge believes that a day might come when he finishes a marathon in under two hours. He would only need to improve his record by around one minute and nine seconds, and considering he beat his previous record by exactly 30 seconds, this doesn't seem like it's the most impossible feat in the world. In fact, the best time to do so would be in the 2022 
London Marathon if he decides to compete, since we already know the 37-year-old Kipchoge is in the prime of his career. Age is certainly not going to be a negative factor for him for the next couple of years at least. Kipchoge said that he doesn't want to make any promises about finishing a marathon in under two hours, since that would simply put too much pressure on him. Instead, he wants to make sure he at least beats his world record once again in his career. His previous course record at the London Marathon was 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 37 seconds, set in 2019. However, the London Marathon was also the event where he had his worst performance to date, finishing in 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 49 seconds in 2020. Now, let's take a look at some other related news. First, 36-year-old man dies at London Marathon. The 2022 London Marathon took place on October 2nd, and the anticipation was building up. Pro runners and ordinary people ran side by side, and even though it was a joyous occasion, for a lot of people, one 36-year-old man couldn't exactly enjoy it in its entirety. The unnamed man collapsed near the finish line of the London Marathon after a grueling journey and shortly after reaching the hospital was pronounced dead. This was certainly a very shocking thing to happen, although it's not completely unprecedented. The organizers sent out a message of condolences to the family of the man after the event ended. Up next, Bekele finishes fifth at the London Marathon. Even though the Berlin champion decided to skip out on the London Marathon since it was so close to his record-breaking win, his close friend and rival, Kenanisa Bekele, did make it to the event. He was considered one of the favorites to win the race, however, he ended up with a disappointing fifth-place finish. This was disappointing for everyone, since Bekele had made a lot of tall claims about his capabilities before the event. However, this shouldn't really be the metric we should judge Bekele from, since Kipchoge himself once finished at only eighth place during the 2020 London Marathon. Every athlete can have a bad day, and Bekele still has plenty of time to prove he's the GOAT. And finally, Amos Capruto and Yalamzerf Yahalahu shine at the London Marathon. It was getting increasingly harder to predict who would be the winners of the 2022 London Marathon, but ultimately, it turned out to be Amos Capruto from Kenya winning the men's race and Yalamzerf Yahalahu from Ethiopia winning the women's race. The men's race was a huge surprise since Capruto had never before won in a major marathon event. He finished in 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 39 seconds. Yalamzerf Yahalahu had already made a name for herself by making the fastest marathon debut in history by a female athlete when she completed the 2022 Hamburg Marathon in 2 hours, 17 minutes, and 23 seconds. She completed the London Marathon in a little over 3 seconds more than her previous best, winning the whole thing. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Elite Kipchoge will break his record again? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.